All right, let me go ahead and make sure this camera is good. Are we good? Everybody in the back, we ready? By the way, y'all, I just wanna say I love you guys. Hopefully you guys are having a beautiful blessed day. I wanted to go ahead and turn on this camera and go ahead and inspire and motivate all the viewers on this channel to follow Christ because Christ is the light of this world, like the Bible says. And shout out to my kings who are retaining their seed. With no further ado, I know I can blab on and on and on all day, but I'm gonna go ahead and dive into it like we jumping off the deep end. With no further ado, you guys, today's video topic is going to be protect your life force energy on semen retention. Let's start off with a quick, quick prayer. Our dear, most gracious heavenly father, Lord Jesus, thank you for another beautiful day. Thank you for loving us and loving me for who we are and knowing that through the trials and tribulations, you will guide us, lead us, protect us because you are our provider, our way maker. The beginning, the end, the alpha and the omega and it is your love that heals us and sets us free. I don't know who this message is for, Lord, but I pray that this message goes out to them, their family, their children, their coworkers, their peers their neighbors, their friends. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray, amen. All right, you guys, sorry that I had to get all, you know, I'm a preacher on y'all guys, you know what I'm saying? But God got me in his own right now. All right, you guys, so we fresh off the clock. This stuff don't stop. I wanted to go ahead and turn this camera on so I can continue the mission that God has set out for me because guess what, you guys, we all have an expiration date on our life. So we gotta get right with the man upstairs, you know what I mean? Now, this is not fear mongering, this is inspiration to get with the almighty because he is waiting for you. You know, you, you know how we say, oh man, God, where are you? I'm waiting on you. Nah, we ain't waiting on him, he waiting on us. So like I said, you guys, protect your life force energy at all costs. I'm gonna go ahead and play a video after this and I want you guys to pay close attention, close attention, because you are going to learn something from an ex-witch who actually knows all about spells, because we always talk about the supernatural and spiritual warfare. She knows about life force energy, just like this, this video that I'm making right now. She knows about how powerful your seed is, your life force energy, and how much these witches and warlocks and wizards, they prey, and demons, they prey on sucking your energy dry. You know what I mean? Like a mosquito, no pun intended. That's why you have to be careful, you guys. I'm gonna also make a video about energy vampires eventually. But I'm gonna go ahead and play this video and I want you guys to watch it all the way through. All the way through because it's going to inspire you to stay on your journey. I know God is knocking <laughs> like the mailman at the front door who is delivering a package to you. You know what I'm saying? And I know that he is going to bring you closer to the light. He's gonna bring clarity into your life. You know how we say Jesus is the light of this world? You have probably been in darkness, darkness like me for a lot of years. You don't know no better. That's why the devil doesn't want you to know the truth because he wants you to be hard on yourself because our people perish because of lack of knowledge. You don't know that God loves you unconditionally and that he will always forgive you for your sins as long as you come to him with sincerity. I mean, he's, he's our father. Why wouldn't he? Would a father just throw his son in the street so the bus could hit him? No, it's the opposite. Quite the opposite. That father's going to run in the street to save his baby. And if he has to, he would even sacrifice himself. Like God Almighty, Father Jehovah sacrificed his only begotten son, Jesus Christ. But I say that to say this, you guys. I want you guys to pay close attention to this video because your life force energy is everything. It is everything, you know what I mean? Energy never lies. Your gut feeling never lies. If you feel something wrong, understand that there is something wrong, you know what I mean? And understand this, one of my coworkers told me today, and she is so right about this. This is the saying of today, like the slogan for today. They always come back, no matter what it is. It could be a person, it could be a job, it could be a car, it could be anything that you ever lost in life. Understand this, life is a boomerang effect. It will always come back, I promise you. Your spirit and energy never lies. If you feel something in your gut, just know, continue to follow your gut feeling because I'm pretty sure that's God calling you and trying to nudge you. Hey, 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 come on, man. You know what I mean? Through your discernment, 
through your spiritual feeling that, man, something, hmm, I don't know, man. Marlon the messenger right now, he's, he's what? He's setting off a light bulb in my head. And I'm starting to realize that, man, this is making sense. You know why? Because God is calling you. God is trying to guide you and lead you and protect you because Jesus Christ loves us, you guys. That's why he came down and died on the cross for our sins, you guys. So we wouldn't have to bear what he went through. You know what I mean? But this video is going to open your eyes up on not only how important it is that you protect your life force, especially my kings who are retaining their seed, but how important it is to pray. That's how we break these curses that are being put on us, you guys. You know what I mean? There's life and death in the tongue. That's why we have to soak up the gospel like a sponge. We have to understand that God Almighty, Jesus Christ, is always there to protect us. Always. That's how powerful your prayers are. You know what I mean? Witches and warlocks, when they do astral projection, you know what I mean? Traveling in the spiritual realm and all that. That's what they're doing, you guys. They're trying to put curses on you. <laughs> but guess what? Guess what the Bible says? Greater is he who is in me than he who is in the world. Resist the devil and he must flee. He must flee. And what is resistance? Resistance is you wrestling that boy off of you. And that's what he is. A boy. He's not a man because the man is Father God. Father God who are in heaven. Jehovah. And the man stands by his son. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And shout out to my kings who are retaining their seed, y'all. I just wanted to go ahead and spread some of this peace, love, and joy that Jesus is blessing me with lately, you guys. Because I don't know about y'all who've been praying for a long time and believing in the Most High and staying consistent along your journey. Even know that the devil been shooting some fiery darts at you. But I feel a breakthrough coming. I feel like something major is going to happen in our life. And it's going to pour upon us like a waterfall. You know what I mean? Because... God is breaking some curses in your life. God is starting to open up your spiritual eyes so that you can be in alignment with him. Because he's trying to bless you. He ain't trying to stress you. But he's trying to do it in an orderly way. God is the opposite of the devil. The devil is a counterfeit. God is order. The devil's chaos. You don't need no more of that chaos in your life. But understand this. If you don't know, then you don't know. We do what we know. And all you know is what you're going to do. So what is God trying to do? What is Jesus trying to do through this video? He's trying to set off an alarm in your head. So a light bulb can go off or light bulbs can go off. Like Pastor Darby said this morning, because I was listening to him to plant a seed of understanding. God say in the Bible, if there's if you don't get nothing else out of this life or if you are going to get something out of this life, pray for more understanding, because with understanding, you are going to be able to head down the path of righteousness that God has ordained for you. It's like a present. It's a gift. It's his grace. He wants you to win. And he is the man on the winning team who runs the winning team. He's the coach and we are the players in the game, the all-stars. So we got to continue to keep grinding, you guys. And like I said, this video is going to shed some enlightenment on you. That's all we need. We need enlightenment. We need understanding so we know what we're dealing with and we don't get mad at God. But we look at the devil and say, hey, shoe fly, shoe. I don't want nothing to do with you because you ain't cool. You know what I mean? But with that being said, you guys, I love you guys. Shout out to my kings who are retaining their seed. Stay down on your journey. And I promise you, the more you call out to Jesus... Because there's power in his name, because there's power in his blood. The witches and warlocks and the devil flee from Jesus and his blood. That's why when you're going through stuff, pray, I plead the blood of Christ over my life. I plead the blood of Christ over this environment. I plead the blood of Christ over my family, my friends, my kids, my neighbors, whoever, over every human being on this planet. Because as you wish unto others, others will wish unto you. Meaning as you do unto others, so shall it be done unto you. You know what I mean? But well, remember this, kings. Stay focused on the prize, and the prize is Jesus Christ. Never forget that. And always remember that he is always with you. He is just one prayer away, one phone call away. You know what I mean? Your prayer is the phone call to Jesus Christ. With that being said, I love you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget, I'm about to play the clip right now. Watch it all the way to the end so you, my friend, can be enlightened. If you made it this far to the video, shout out to you. Y'all know what to do. And until next time, 
Peace. One of his deepest secrets. He had, uh, he had, the, the Bible says that when Jesus died, he went and he took the keys of hell from him. Yes. And then he said, all power in heaven and on earth has been given to me. The power that Jesus was talking about is the power that God had given man. And Satan had taken it from man when he deceived man. So what Jesus went to do was to restore whatever the enemy had stolen from us and give it to us. And then he commanded us to go into the world, preach the gospel, lay hands on the sick, and do the mission of the enemy, cast out devils. Because now we had regained our former position that we had, the, the relationship that we had with God yes. through Christ Jesus. So he said, whatever we want, we can ask for it in his name, and it shall be given to us. And whenever we pray in his name, he will answer. So Satan now was revealing to me how we can take power from man and use that same power against man. How man is built on energies. So if he was telling me that if you want to defeat man, you have to drink a certain energy or to make him drink a certain energy. Like, for example, if you want to steal somebody's destiny, you sleep with that person. And when you're sleeping with them, you're drinking a certain energy from them because that is where life is supposed to start yes. through uh, reproduction. Yes. Yeah. So when you're sleeping with someone who is not your wife or not your husband, they are drinking your life energy. Yeah. And when they drink that life energy, they leave you dry and they steal, your, they steal all your life your say, virtue. Yes, th that virtue from you. And then that's, there are some men, uh, he dates a girl when he's rich. And then from the time he starts sleeping with a girl, his business begins to go down. Yes. And then the girl begins to prosper. That girl has stolen the man's virtue. Yes. And the man is an empty vessel. Wow. So, Indeed, the word says, by means of a whorish woman, mm, a man is reduced to a piece of bread. Yes. Yeah, so uh, Satan started now training me. If you want to disorganize somebody's life, you have to create an atmosphere, a conducive atmosphere for you to drink the energies from him. If you cannot sleep with that person, anger the person. So has anybody tried to get into a relationship with you and then you, you turn them down and then they start now disturbing you on social media. They start calling you. They start bothering you. And then now you're quarreling with them. When you're quarreling with them, they know what they are doing. Them, they want to create an, a conducive atmosphere and they are patient. Even if you insult them, they are very patient. The more you give them time to do their mission, their assignment, the more they create an atmosphere where they can drink the energy. And when they drink your energy, you find that you cannot pray anymore. They have quenched you. And then when you feel that you're being quenched, you cannot pray the way you were.